Hey my little angels and welcome back to another video you guys. So anyways, I'll show you all the prizes for this fishing event of summer 2020. The only difference between the relics from the last year and this year is that I think it only went till the number 6, which this year is going up till the number 10. A through F, same relics basically. So you need to collect each set. So A 1 through 10, B 1 through 10, same thing all the way up through F 1 through 10. Each set will give you a different kind of prize, so I shall show you which ones they are. For A, you get this pinkish shell badge and 25 golden tickets. You have a total limit of 250 golden tickets, so if you get any more than that, it won't be added into your inventory. D will give you the title of Neptune and 25 golden tickets. B gives you this cute little shell, coral, or sea ear item you want to call it, and 25 golden tickets. C gives you a fishbowl shaman badge, which I already have, so it didn't give it to me, and 25 golden tickets. E gives you 60 golden tickets, and F gives you 60 golden tickets as well. So basically, you can cash those golden tickets in during those event maps, else you can go to the village and go to the professor, who's at the far left. So yeah. Or you could convert them into red tickets to get the global chest, which means that you can get some sort of, I don't know, prize or something from any of the events which have happened, not just a fishing event. Keeps changing. If you cash in the golden tickets directly to the chest, then you will get the prizes from just this fishing event. Okay, so imagine you did come on one of these maps and you wanted to go on a relic map, or you just missed the relic map, then you can quickly switch over to the different rooms and try and find one where the event is about to start. So you see how there's only like two, three seconds left on that map. So I waited and boom, the event map came after that. So that's another thing you can do. If in case you miss it, you just missed a relic map or you ended up in one of those other maps where you can't fish for relics. So you can do that. That's just another tip for you guys. And you get roughly like seven different items in each round. If you keep pressing the down arrow key, and I came late to this map, but just to show you guys, boat originally starts off here, but don't just keep walking over, else once you go over the side, there's no coming back. Just make sure that you stay on here, press the down, down button, and keep that down arrow pressed the whole time, and yeah, hopefully you'll get some relics, but if not, you'll at least get two tickets by making it to the hole. So once in a while, they do have this, and the thunderstorm, it just like it shakes your boat a bit, so it tries to make you fall off, so just be careful of that. And your mice need to also be pushing it over there in order to get your two golden tickets at the very end of this trip. Now you may get zero or one relic for a round. In the past, we've got two to three relics in a vet map round. If you cannot find all your relics, or you do not want to put in the time, you can always go to this trading room, which is universal to the different servers, and so you do see other mice speaking in different languages too. So you can trade your relics, or you could sell yours if you do not need them. Usually people do it for CC, which is cheese coins. Some consider a few of the relics rare to find, although in reality it is quite random, so they're priced them at like 30 CC, others ask for like 15 to 20 CC. As we get towards the end of the event, which will be the 27th of August is when it ends, it'll probably be like 5 CC a relic max, or if they don't give it free. And if anyone is looking to fish for specific relics, here are some of the maps from the Transformized fandom page showing the locations of a few of the relics which they found around. So yeah, enjoy! Hope all this helped, and comment if you have any other questions below. Kate and Shout, as always, peace!